you so much for stopping by at the Dot Father to learn more about Polka Dot and Akala. We are going to be speaking today around the Akala network, its applications, and, and of course, its main product, AUSD. AUSD is a stable coin they developed for the Polkadot ecosystem, which will be the backbone uh, for the future, for the future financial uh, Web3 foundation. Uh, and what we want to learn is what is exactly Akala? And so let's go ahead and, and jump right into the DeFi app. So this is my wallet. Uh, you can see here my portfolio, some very basic information around staking, vault, earning. It could be overwhelming, but it seems like a pretty fine UI for now. Uh, since I actually participated in the crowd loan parachain auction back in November, I actually received uh, an NFT uh, for my contribution, which is very nice from the Akala team. So uh, just some quick, um, feedback around this application there are some bugs uh, for me at least as an early adopter it seems like it's extremely difficult to navigate or maybe even press some buttons or use the application in general right even right now in my portfolio it's showing four hundred and thirty three dollars but in reality it's not so there's a lot of visual bugs uh, that I'm witnessing already uh, if we go go down here we could see all of my assets uh, that I have in my wallet of course the ACA that I received for the crowd loan contribution uh, and of course my dots that I that I put in I actually minted a USD already just to try it out but this will be a tutorial on Akala specifically and so Amazing. what we want to talk about today is the early adopter program uh, so the early adopter program is obviously incentivizing people who are interested in DeFi and Polkadot to use the application to go ahead and provide liquidity so that people could go ahead and swap and mint AUSD, et cetera, et cetera. So this program is actually ending by March 28th of this year. Uh, here we could see that they're also providing an NFT for everyone who goes ahead and checks these three boxes. The first thing that you have to do is transfer your DOT to Akala via the bridge. We will show you how to do that with this demo. An on-chain recording of AUSD minting. So how do you go ahead and collateralize your assets so that you could take AUSD and then use it for uh, liquidity uh, uh, providing? Last but not least, what they want to do is see on-chain recording on any kind of swap operation, whether it's you know, providing liquidity or just swapping using the Akala DEX. Um, so for this period, this era, uh, they're actually rewarding 1 million ACA tokens over the next six months. And here you could see that for every single pool, there's a different form of token rewards. Um, so LC dot to dot uh, is 50,000 for the first month. It's starting uh, today. It actually already started. LC dot and AUSD. And last but not least, ACA AUSD. ACA AUSD is obviously the one I'm most excited about um, because I've been I've been accumulating some ACA uh, but before we go inside of the application I just want to mention that this is not financial advice this is just purely educational on how to use uh, the application what to do how to go ahead and do it and of course uh, warn you about uh, the risks so there are risks obviously of minting a USD uh, since you are providing collateral uh, and you should definitely do your own research before going uh, ahead and doing anything. Um, so here we could see, uh, we could we could just go ahead into the homepage, see what kind of products they have. So as we mentioned, we want to bridge some assets to uh, the Akala uh, blockchain. We have some polka dot staking. Uh, we have some earnings, some liquidity uh, staking. And of course, you could mint a USD. Uh, so that you could compound your rewards and use it for the polka dot ecosystem. So let's go ahead and Let's go ahead and do no, step number one. So let me go to the bridge Since I am interested in Akala and being an early adopter uh, uh, and, and participating in this program I want to go ahead and, and invest some of my dots uh, into the ecosystem. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of my dots that I have here in my wallet. Um, say I wanna go ahead and do 50 dots. Gonna bridge them using um, the Akala bridge. 
And here I could see uh, the amount of fees that I have. So let's go ahead and do transfer, sign the transaction. Here I could see that it's been transferred. My balance as well has been updated. Let's see if we could have, yep. So this is, this is one of the things that I'm talking about when it comes to the user experience or the user interface. Maybe because it's still the beginning, maybe there's some performance issues. I don't exactly know what it is, but it's definitely frustrating to go ahead and do this. Um, and this is something you should definitely take into consideration when using Akala for the first time. So do expect this. Uh, very, very important. But uh, here, here we go. Let's, let's go ahead and see what we could do here. Okay. Okay, so you see another visual bug. zero dots in my balance, right? Even though I did the transfer. Let's go ahead and see what's going on here. History. Okay, so it's still, it's still being submitted and it hasn't been completed. So let's go ahead and wait a second. Excellent, so here I can see that I received my balance. Let's go ahead and go to Mint. Okay, so again, another visual bug. So I see here all of my balances, right? It's not telling me the US price, right? Not even uh, here, the AUSD, the dots, and even the LC dot. Um, there's a lot, of, there's a bunch of functional visual regressions that, that we're experiencing here as early adopters, uh, which is expected, right? This is why we're doing this. Um, but since I bridged my dots, what I want to do right now is actually provide liquidity. Right? And so you have to add it via a liquidity. And so we could go ahead and do that. And there's three different liquidity pools when using Akala uh, for the first couple of weeks. They're actually already rolled out the dot LC dot. Uh, it's actually been uh, completed and it's completely closed. Um, and now we're looking at the AUSD LC dot pool. So this pool will start when the following conditions are met. So the liquidity target reaches 200,000 AUSD or 20,000 LC dot. Clearly there's a lot of demand. They're 933% over its target goal. And this is closing in 11th of the February, 2002. I'm actually gonna go ahead and provide this uh, inside of this pool. I like the AUSD LC dot pair. Um, just so, just so you guys know, LC dot is liquid crown loan dot. So this is a one-to-one -one ratio on dot and the people who provided their dots for two years inside of the parachain crowd loan auctions. Um, I received personally 200 LC dots. Um, and that's because I would want them to go ahead and just sit there for two years without doing anything, right? And so this is why Akala gave me in return LC dot so that I could use it for DeFi. So what happens if I click bootstrap? There's a couple of things. So there's, there's add only a USD. There's add LC dot, or you could add both, right? I'm going to go ahead and use my dots to mint a USD. Okay. Because I already have LC dot. I have 178 and I have 50 dots that I could use, right? But I only have $50. What happens if I mint more a USD? So let's go ahead and do this. Create vault. Here I could see my balance of 50 dot. So this is the balance, right? The asset price right now, based on its Oracle price is $21.71. Stability fee is 3%. The required collateral is 200% and liquidation is 116 with a fee of 15% if you do get liquidated. So let's go ahead and do this, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and deposit, let's say all my 50 dots. This means right? Because 50 dots right now is, yeah, it's about a thousand dollars, right? We want to go ahead and mint a USD. But the thing is, is because the Akala DeFi protocol is over collateralized, right? What they're going to let me do is only mint close to half of that, right? So here you can see that my max available to mint is 500 bucks around. So let me go ahead and do this, right? 
So what happens if I if I go ahead and do it? Now this is a really cool UI that Akala created. So I could see here that my liquidation price, if I provide 50 dots, is $16, right? And this is the current price. Um, this is the collateral ratio uh, and, and so on and so forth, right? I could play around with this, 250, and then see exactly how that goes about, right? But let's go ahead and, and, and see what's happening with the AUSD at $500. So I'm gonna go ahead and do click next. Depositing 50 dot, minting 500 AUSD. Current ratio is 217%, stability fee up. Okay, excellent. So let's go ahead and confirm that. Sign the transaction. And now of course, because I'm taking essentially a loan, there will be some interest fees that will be accruing as I hold on to the AUSD, right? Uh, but the whole purpose of it is so that I use this AUSD in order to provide it into a liquidity pool, right? Uh, and so now I have the LC dots, right? The liquidity crowd loan dots. Uh, and I have 550 AUSD. So let's go ahead and see what happens once I add it inside of the swap. Okay, so it's it's still still loading here however let's go ahead and see what happens when we find both okay so let's say i want to put 500 AUSD to provide liquidity and i want to put 50 liquidity crowd loan dots okay um, this is going to give me an lp share of 0.02 percent and i'm going to receive um, LP tokens with current ratio 503. Okay, excellent. Um, so I, I, yeah, I just have basic information. Um, and of course this information will come out once this bootstrapping period is closed completely. So let's go ahead and click bootstrap, sign the transaction. Excellent. Here you can see that my liquidity provision has been successful and I'm gonna go ahead and click done.